Hello, it's Emily Lucy Ratch. Welcome back to my channel. Today's a bit different. So I'm going on holiday in three days. So I've been doing some panic holiday shopping. I don't know about you, but at the moment, there's this thing, I saw it on TikTok, someone was saying, where has this like big thing come from that when we go on holiday, we need like a brand new wardrobe of all these like new things that no one else has got. And I myself feel that where I'm like, okay, I don't wanna just order from Zara because I could go and then there's gonna be like loads of people in the same outfit. I want like bespoke things or things that look really cool and a bit different. So I found some different brands I'm gonna talk you through today that I found online and I just wanna shout about. As a small brand owner myself, I feel like I fit into that myself and I want I, I want the same exposure for my brand that I want this, these brands to get because I feel like all of them are chef's kits. Starting with this one, because I'm going on a virgin cruise, there is this Scarlet Night where you have to wear a red dress. So I've been searching the internet for a red dress and everything that I liked was really expensive. And across Taint Row where they have dresses that you can rent. So I've rented a rat and boa dress to wear. I'm so excited, it looked so gorgeous online. So I'm gonna share that one with you now. Next is this amazing brand called Fair, I think it is, P-H-A-I-R, and I just love this girl from Fair. Melissa, when we were talking to her over DMs, she's amazing, and I can't wait to try this. I'm thinking I wanna wear this at Scorpio's in Turkey, there's a new one that's just opened. If you wanna see any of the outfits and how I've styled them, they're gonna be on my Instagram. The quality, girl. Wow, I'm excited. So I've gone for a large top and an XL bottom. The only thing I will say about this brand, I wish it was a little bit more size inclusive because that's a large, which is meant to be a 12. It looks quite small. Let me try. I'm not gonna try them on in style, guys. This is just a you and me packing video. If you wanna see how I'm making them look, then it needs to be the day of the, or night of the holiday, you know? bit of effort to get dressed up to then wear it again later. I want the excitement of putting it on for the first time, you know? This quality is phenomenal. I'm so about quality. Having my own brand has made me realize just how naff some brands I used to shop at are. Like, oh. I mean, you can probably tell I've gone from doing hauls of some brands to never doing any hauls from them because, yeah the margin that I've realised that they make on items and not paying their workers correctly and stuff like that. Like I just I'm just not about fast fashion anymore. I just really don't want to promote that unless it's a brand that I know that really cares about paying fairly and like wants to be affordable. My friend Vicky wore this to her hen in white. She looked amazing. Okay, obviously I'm trying it on over my top just for sizing, but I can already see I'm gonna love that. So again, I don't wanna put the full outfit on yet because I want that excitement of when I'm getting ready to go to Scorpios in Turkey, that I'm getting ready in my ELA swim with this on top and I'm just excited. So if you're interested, go watch it on Instagram or TikTok because I feel like it's gonna be good. Mm. Look at the shoulders. I'm, I'm obsessed. Easy to get um, this on and off at a beach club, I don't know, but. That's what my husband's for. <laughs> that is a tick. I'm so excited to wear this. Smashed it. I'll link everything down below if you wanted to shop any of these independent brands, but I just love this video. What a great idea to support in independent brands. And then my Valentina dress, I'm gonna take two. Just for those days, I've already wore it, so you know when it's not got the same thing because you've already wore it, but I want it for those days where I think I just wanna be comfortable, and because I know it's my design, I just know when I'm having one of those days I'm feeling bloated because I've eaten so much food, this I'll be like, thank God I brought it. I can just wear it with my flat shoes and it can just feel mm, well being comfortable, which is what your lifestyle is all about. Next is Odd Muse. And I've shared Odd Muse before on Instagram. I love Amy. I watch all her stories. I'm so about what I found her life. Like she really inspires me. And I just love that she's so open. I think it's something that I personally really struggle with as a founder to share so much information because I'm just so scared fast fashion will just copy me because that's happened so many times. But also like, I don't know, I get a bit like, not insecure, but I'm just like, I don't want anyone to know there's any mistakes happening or anything wrong going on in the business where I really admire that she's so open and will share like, the fit of a dress wasn't right so they've redone it and stuff like that. And I'm like, do you know what? I really need to do more of that and like share more of the insight as to what I found out 
from owning my own brand because there was, I said this actually the other day on Instagram there's been so many times where I've posted stuff about sizing and stuff and actually I had no idea what I was talking about and I still see creators doing it now one of the things that, I've no, that I know from having my own brand now is if you've ordered so say for instance if we have a product that we order a thousand units of that will be made and ordered six months before it comes so then if it does really well and I want to buy it back they have to source the same fabric which sometimes doesn't happen or we've had issues where they cannot get that fabric anymore or there's been problems with that fabric so they can't get it anymore so then you've got a design that people love and you're like shit I need to try and replicate this so you have to change the fabric slightly which then obviously will change the fit because it's not exactly the same or if we've done a design and people have fed back that the length is too long obviously for some people the length is going to be perfect but we have to go with the majority of the fact that if the sizing and the fit is overall getting less returns then we have to go that way but then that's always going to leave some people who are like the fit's changed i wish it was longer again so it's so hard because you can't just it's not a one fit all which is just so frustrating for people and i know and obviously it makes a big difference being able to have such a niche like we've done which is like curves bums tums so we know who we're fitting for whereas brands like zara and other huge brands like that won't well i don't know i'm just covering my own back here but i'm just guessing from what i've heard and what people have told me is that they don't actually fit to human bodies they fit to mannequins and i don't know about you but my body does not feel like a mannequin it's squishy it's curvy it's not straight and hard so when i put something on and the zip just doesn't fit in the right way or the fit of it's just wrong or the stretch is not there if it's not been fit on a human you don't need to really stretch it's fit into something that's solid whereas I am not solid so yeah there's like so much stuff like that that I've learned and I really want to share but I just I don't know I'm always a bit scared to like voice my opinion or be seen as like preachy but anyway I've gone off topic here but this is from their new resort line they messaged me asking if I wanted to try this and I was like girl yes I'm excited to try the resort and feel like I'm in south of France wearing this oh gorgeous I don't know if that's going to be too big. Mm. I need to try this on now, guys. Damn. And I wasn't trying on in this video. I was talking and trying on elsewhere. I'm not going to take my top off just to rebel. But. Oh, that's another thing. I'm just so short here. Maybe I need it all train. Mmm. Okay, this is the XL, which is a 14. And actual fit-wise, it's roomy, but it does fit nice. I think the biggest thing is this, because I'm just, I'm so short here. So I think I actually need to go and have it tailored, because look at this, it's just so big. So I really want to wear this on the ship. We're going to the test kitchen, which is like the bougiest one on the Virgin ships and i'm excited to have date night with my husband and this in my mind is what i'm wearing i'm obviously not wearing it like this i'm gonna do it i'm just gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna stop being an idiot i'm gonna do it please tell me i'm not the only one that tries holiday clothes on this like i'm just i'm just determined not to take my clothes off to try clothes on it just makes no sense and that bra i've got underneath is just so ugly it's not meant to be seen by anyone okay i've done it i'm, I'm in like a full item of clothing that i said i wouldn't do yeah I think she's too big a nice dress and it's so kind that they gifted it to me so i'm gonna i feel like it might be a bit too big here mm. this is how it should look but look at that i'm just so compact i feel like it's just a bit too big everywhere maybe i need to ask for a smaller size i think i do <laughs> Oh, but I'm gonna message them right now. I think I just look so cute in this dress. And the final brand I've got in the chaos that is underneath me that is my packing is this brand called Aria Cove. I saw them on ASOS, but then I've actually been hit by their paid ads a lot because I must be their target market holiday shopper. Um, and this is really nice. Again, I'm not gonna try it on. I'm just gonna show you because you saw the effort that I just went through to put this on. But again, I wish I got this in a small size. This is a 16, it's way too big, but I'm just thinking on holiday, bloated, like the last holiday went on, I was so bloated for 24 hours, it looked like I was at least six months. Um, but I just love this. And it also has this top. When I actually did put this on yesterday, I thought a bit small for a 12. 
but <laughs> this is cute. I'm excited to wear this. All these outfits will be on my Instagram and TikTok because I'm gonna just enjoy sharing my late outfits. I'm gonna vlog, I'm gonna try and vlog the cruise because I'm going with Anthony, my husband, but then also our friends Tom and Luke, who are content creators, are also on the same cruise and they are just so much fun. I feel like you guys are gonna love them. So I'm hopeful I'm gonna vlog it. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.